the pod, the notes this week. You didn't look at the notes this week? No. I'm glad you're telling me right now. Hello, everyone. <laughs> today we have a special guest. We always say it's a special guest, but today I mean it. Today. <laughs> Imagine like all the other guests. Else. All the other guests are like, what the fuck? <laughs> now, today we have Larry. Larry G. Old friend of mine. Do you know Kevin C.S.? Dude. Oh, bro. <laughs> Kevin C.S. Yeah. Dude, life. can you stop? <laughs> Eric, <laughs> play the intro, please. Ah, these clouds. <laughs> okay, welcome back. Dude. You forgot to fucking start the no, camera no. again? That's when I started. That's when I started. Okay. Larry. I've been wanting to get Larry on this podcast since, since we, we started. started having guests. I'm just too unavailable, brother. You, do, you're po- you're, you have a lot of things going on. Larry, for people that don't know Larry, I've known Larry since kids, since we were kids. He was like a neighborhood friend, mm-hmm. went to the same schools, you know, mm-hmm. attended the same fiestas and stuff. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> honestly, we stayed friends even after high school and... Larry worked at Samorano's Monument Company. He did. He did. He got his start in the funeral industry, and then he's now at a funeral home. So that's pretty dope. Dude, how have you been? Really good, man. Yeah? Really good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Get a little closer up on this I'm thing. I'm going to get really, really close yeah, to this. Yeah, yeah. Right. Kiss it almost if you want. <laughs> Not all that, but <laughs> no, nah, man, doing really good. Um, it, the funeral industry is really cool. It's cool to be like on the other side of things. Yeah. Which yeah. kind of um, working with you guys kind of helped me get that job too. It was fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm glad it, I'm glad you you mm-hmm. kept going in the same industry because every once in a while we'll touch, we'll, we'll cross paths, not not literally, but because you're in the office. But he'll like reach mm-hmm. out like, hey, this funeral's going on. I'm like, oh shit, all right. I get a little behind the scenes. I know before we actually know, so that's cool. And um, I mean that's that's awesome, bro. I see like I've. We keep up, you know, texting every once in a while, but I see that you're on your, uh, you're on, you're on your, like, your band stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, you got a lot of stuff going on. Did yeah, you I see my shirt? I did, man. See my shirt. No Suffer. So that's one of the bands you're in, right? One of them, yeah. One yeah. of the bands. One of the bands. Yes. I'm in two You're bands. famous. Dude, no, that's not awesome. actually. He's up there. He's nah. up there. So, um, <clears throat> No Suffer. And can correct me if I'm wrong, because I might be. No Suffer is m- kind of more of like a hardcore band, right? Is it more? No Suffer is more of a crossover metal band. Oh. Uh, so I'm in another band called Predecessor, which is a straight hardcore band. Oh, yeah. So if you ever listen to those two kind of side by side, you you can you can tell the difference between it. Mm-hmm. One's more like on like the punk side of it, and then uh, No Suffer is like pr- a lot heavier, more metal. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So no suffer. Sh- shout out to the guys at no suffer. Um, I like super since I was like younger. When you first started in no suffer, it was actually like Tramp over shipwreck. Like I remember them like yeah since yeah. Back so then. no suffer came from uh, Tramp over shipwreck. Yeah. No suffer is actually going to be the name of the last album that we recorded. It was supposed to be the full length. Yeah. Uh, until we decided just to kind of change things over. A lot of member changes, so we decided just to start new and. New name. Yeah. New name, new me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's dope, man. Um, and so I saw that you guys just came off of a, like a short Texas run tour, right? Yeah, yeah we did. Uh, in about, August? I think it was like five days that we did. Yeah. You were in where? Austin, uh, San Antonio? Austin, San Antonio, Lubbock, Dallas. Damn. Damn that's cool. Yeah. Oh, and then one day to get back home. So yeah. four, we played four days. That's badass. Mm-hmm. And so now that I, I mean I know about I know about No Suffer, but tell me, <laughs> predecessor, how did that like come about? How did you get into another band? Like, that, I, I feel like your fucking schedule must be like crazy, dude. Like you just have like a lot of shit going on. It's between work mm-hmm. and then uh, the gym, and then also fucking somebody just opened the door, <laughs> <laughs> and um, that's crazy. They didn't even <laughs> so work at the gym. Um, 
And now you got two bands. Yeah. That that's wild, bro. Yeah. It's really cool, man. It's cool. So with the uh, predecessor, I play guitar. Mm-hmm. And no software, I play bass. So yeah, that's that's cool, cool yeah, to kind of like change badass, up a little bit. That's badass. And, and so just like, did you did your friend start it, or you just like knew somebody that needed a guitarist? Or how how did you get how did you get with the guys in predecessor? So the way that came about, um, our vocalist Amaret, uh, mm-hmm. she runs um, No Push Mosh. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I know it's, that. Um, a little bu- a booking company uh, that's you know based out of here with mm-hmm. DIY stuff. Yeah. Um, so she used to play in another band. Uh, that's how we met uh, when uh, No Suffer was kind of in its early mm-hmm. days. Yeah. Uh, so we would actually play shows together. And then we I started seeing her around. Then uh, her and Serge, our drummer, uh, started booking a lot of shows. And I remember telling her one day, like, dude, you should start a band again. Like, your last band was really good. I don't know, you know, mm-hmm. we could we start something up. And she's like, yeah, you know, I've been thinking about it. And, I, you know, I've been... I've been wanting to, but, you know, just kind of up in the air. Yeah. And then um, one day out of nowhere, she sends me a text, and she's like, yo, you want to play guitar for us? And I was like, who's us? And she's like, well, we're kind of starting something up. Um, You know, we can have you, like, play the guitar or bass or whatever. And I was like, yeah, for sure. And so I was like, well, I can play bass. And she goes, well... We actually already have a basis, so we're gonna put you on guitar. And I was Hell like, yeah! I was like, all right, that's cool. That's cool, man. That's so badass. yeah, that, that's super fresh. Um, it's been around for honestly maybe less than six months. Yeah, yeah. We, we already have an EP out. Um, oh shit! It's called uh, Divine Punishment. Okay, yeah, because I remember one time you sent me like a sneak peek of of one of the songs that you had recorded while you were in the middle of. Recording. Yeah, uh-huh. he had sent me like a little uh, WAV file, and I was like, "Oh shit, this is pretty good. Like, it's it's different. It's way different than your other project with No Suffer and them." And so that I mean, that's awesome, bro. That's fucking crazy. Like, so you're staying super busy, and um, I wanted to have you on because it, like we have a lot of things like that kind of cross paths. Like, you know what I mean? The funeral industry, and then like the fact that you worked with us, mm-hmm. and. Uh, and you know Sonny, you know Eric, like it's been no, it's been a fam. crazy thing. Yeah, for the longest time we were talking about like making a podcast and it just like never came about. <laughs> and then uh oh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. That. yeah. But but look at us now. Look at us now, we're here. You have the podcast. <laughs> yeah, wow. You have yeah. the podcast, yeah, yeah. But yeah, bro, but you couldn't fit a podcast into your oh, fucking schedule. Yeah. I've been trying to not. get you on and you're like, I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't, I'm like, I, can't. I got a show, I got practice, I yeah, got, you got this and that. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's cool, man. Um, Sonny. What? What do you know? You know what I remembered, bro? And I kind of want to just get into this. I just jumped. I just jumped. You're ship. not good at transitioning. This, you just, this is me changing You're now. not good at I'm transitioning. Com- I'm coming over. Okay, next topic. <laughs> next topic. <laughs> you know what I was remembering when you were in your WWE phase? Okay. Dude. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> I didn't know you had all that. I, she was so like infatuated with... Uh, I still follow the twins. The twins. What twins? Sophia the, and Scarlett. The, <laughs> oh, okay. No. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, the, the twin girls, uh, Nikki and Brie. Oh, okay, the cool. Bella twins, the Bella twins. There right? You go. Yes, yeah. I was trying to remember them. <laughs> yeah, she had like she had like video games. She would be playing video games of like WWE. Tell me you were you were playing with me, dude. I played with Wii. you. I had no idea who these characters were. I just know like okay, that's bullshit. I know, that's bullshit. I know this guy. That's bullshit. I know this guy. That's bullshit. Because you guy. used to play with, uh, with Amanda too and Uncle Frank, and you knew the names of those characters. So well, shut the fuck up. Hold on, hold on. Because back in the nineties, early two thousands. Like I was in the, I was into like a little bit of the the. It was WWF, like Sting and, uh, <laughs> that's the only one I remember. Nice. Good Honestly, job. I, I, don't, I don't know anything about wrestling at all. I just think no? it's so weird. Like people when they, because that's a kid thing. Like you, it was a phase for you, and you kind of like you follow them on Instagram, but you don't watch like Monday Night Raw, right? No, not no? anymore. That's like I don't even think I watched it back then. I would only watch like the. Like the like highlights the, like and clips stuff. Or something. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't watch yeah. it all. And then I think it's crazy. Like adults, really, like they religiously watch yeah. WWE, and I'm like, dude, this is like, yeah, definitely. This is kind of like already. You should be past. You should be over this. <laughs> you know, what? going back um, to like bands and like you know playing shows, things like that. People in like the metal and the hardcore community like, yeah. are really, really into like wrestling. No way. Like, I would heavy, think like, so it's, though, it's, because it's all over. Like, yeah. 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 I've, I would think so. 
I mean, there's a vocalist in a band who is a wrestler as well. Oh shit! Yeah, that's a that, Brody that's... King. He's in a God's Hate. Oh, he's, fuck. he's a wrestler. That's crazy. Yeah, see, like for me, I kind of like it fell off. Like I, I just think it's crazy because I try watching it. Like every once in a while, you're you know you're surfing the channels and it's on, and you're like, what, what's going on here? And then it's like they're in the ring and they're just like having like a conversation. I'm like, why why aren't they fighting? Like, what, what are we doing <laughs> there's, here? There's the storylines. You have to make it interesting. You know, I. Barely found that out that there's like a whole thing to it. Yeah. It's not just yeah. dudes getting into a ring and just like. Yeah, it's not like you have to be like fighting or like they have to be like have actually a like have fight. a reason to be fighting. Yeah, it makes it ho- so much more interesting. Nah, not for me. I usually yeah, skip honestly, over that part. Yeah, I, I would too. <laughs> like, unless I, it's like Macho Man Randy yeah. Savage. Like otherwise, I don't yeah. care. If, if, if <laughs> uh, to I be like honest, I can talk. yeah. If we're being honest, like honestly, that like in a comparison to another thing, like that's something I just skip over, like to get to the action. I don't want to say what I'm talking about, but like, it's like I, I can. I don't need the storyline. Just get to the action. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Okay. Well. Okay. Pause. I don't pause. I don't want to get <laughs> like. I don't want to mention it because I don't want to get pulled off YouTube. But whatever. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, dude. I just think it's crazy because like my my uh, older sister is like knows everything that goes on, and then like every once in a while, like we'll be doing something, and she's like, "Oh fuck." Monday Night Raw or whatever. That's the only one I know. Really? Like I'm like, she's like, oh, I miss Monday Night Raw. I'm like, what? You, what? And that's like, crazy. All right. Well, that's cool. I mean, everybody has their own sickness. I guess that's fine. <laughs> you want to call it that? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, it's not a sickness, but I just think it's kind of crazy. It's funny to me. But um, another reason that I wanted to have you on, bro, is because <laughs> Wait, why, did you know... Why did you just bring that up and then just... I don't know. Like, I was just remembering that, like, that you had a WWE phase and I was like, dude... Right now? Or do you have that on the notes? I had it on the notes because I was like wanting to know if you're still in that phase. Like if you still watch WWE. Like if you still I, watch I wrestling. I just wanted to bring up your WWE phase. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there, there's like no... Why? Back into it. There's no... Yeah, this is yeah. random. I don't know. Have you been Have you been with us for the last twenty three episodes? Like this is just the way you're, I do things. You're just you're not good at transitioning, <laughs> and you're very random. Yeah. So, but yeah, I just wanted to see if I you were out of their your lives. Face. Like I know they have sons. I know that they're close together. Brie has a daughter and a son. They're both married. They both have houses. They live next to each other. I know their lives. Oh shit! Wow. <laughs> I was gonna cool. say okay. Well, they have a reality show, so I used to watch it. Oh. I don't watch it anymore. Really? But I used to. Yeah. Yes, but I just wanted to know. I kind of wanted to just make sure because to see if like it was a phase. Because for me, it was like a one year phase that I was into, and like for other people that were into it, yeah, like when they were kids, (laughs) that's what they were into, and then that's it. I just wanted to know if it was a phase for you too. That's it. You know, my brother was actually (laughs) really into it. Yeah. Yeah. Your twin like brother. That was his th- yeah, yeah, my twin brother. (laughs) He's actually really into it. That was the that was the next thing that I was gonna bring up. That Larry. Is a twin. I am. I'm a twin. Yeah. That's crazy. It's so yeah, crazy. Very crazy. I I, I kind of wanted to get into like a couple things of of like the like the twin stuff, and, and kind of like put to rest some shit that like people always want to ask like, like the cliche ask, yeah. shit. Like you know what I mean? Like, do you? Do you guys f- feel the same thing? Does yes. the one twin get hurt and then you can feel it too? Is that what you want to yes, ask? Yes. That's like <laughs> no, no. I'm trying to say like what. What kind of weird shit, like, do you get? Like, what kind of weird questions are you getting that you're like, dude, like, come on. That's not fucking real at all. That's one of the questions, right? Like, Yeah, that is one of the questions. And, you know, it, and it changes, too, like, as, like, as you get older. Mm-hmm. It's kind of funny, like, as you become, like, adults. Yeah. Like, you guys, you obviously be- have, like, your own separate lives. Where you're, like, growing into, like, your own people, right? Of course, yeah. Uh, so, like, when, when we're younger, we did get that a lot. Like, oh, if I hit you, does he feel it? Or if, you know, if... You're sad. Is he gonna be sad too, or whatever? You know, but like as we got older, and like my brother's married. Yeah. Um, and people have actually asked his wife, "Oh, if you're attracted to him, do you find his brother attracted to?" Oh, her? that she's is. Like, that's like an up. awkward no, like that's, situation. Yeah, that's my husband, you know, that's, yeah, that's, that's such a weird thing to ask. Weird you know? thing to ask, like that, especially like to somebody that she. That's crazy to her. Like that's crazy to fucking answer. What What do you answer to that? You know what I mean? Like, it's like no, that's obviously husband, not. You know? you know what I mean? Well, and we're two different people. Yeah, you know what I mean? and you guys aren't even. You guys look a lot alike, but technically you're not identical. To your fraternal twins, fraternal, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I kind of want to get a like a feel of what Sophia and Scarlett are gonna have to go through because they're actually identical twins. I was just about to ask that. But 
well, I don't know. Maybe this is just me speaking because uh, I'm their dad, but they they have a lot of differences in the way they look. Like right away, you can tell who's Sophia and who's Scarlett. Yeah. Um, after you get to like after you see them a couple times, then it's hard to like mix them up. It still happens. Like if they're wearing hats, or if their hair is up, or if their hair is like kind of in a certain like there's a certain hairdo that Sandy does that it's like. Okay, yeah, I know you're Sophia. Like, I have to pause to think about it, and then I'm like, all right, I'm in, I'm fine. And so I just kind of wanted to know, like, that's the crazy shit that... I, It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, you guys aren't attached, so why would you feel things? Why would, you know... Right, and you're your own individual person. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, people ask me, too, like, growing up, um, like, you know, what's it like having a twin? Like, what, what is that like, you know? Yeah. So, like, I worked on it. <laughs> through my life you kind of get your yeah, own yeah you stick. know so like my like my return is like oh do you have a brother do you yeah. have a sister yeah like that exactly like that <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i mean to be honest with you i think it's what it's what's the benefits of ha- of ha- being a twin and having a twin is um like you have somebody your age that you can play with all yeah. the time yeah, growing it's like up. going through the same shit yeah. you're going through it yeah. it's, time. it's not necessarily like oh you know it's, it's anything different but you just like like if, for instance, I have a sister, right, Sonny, and I have a brother. Eric and I are 16 years, like, difference. Like, w- we couldn't play. You know what I mean? I can, like, toss the ball to him, but, like, my back will start hurting because I'll fucking much older I am than him. <laughs> uh-huh. You know what I mean? And Sonny is eight years. Like, there's an eight-year difference. It's like, well, yeah. yeah what, what like we, we didn't get to go through the same things at the same time. Yeah, like, her right. interests, you know what I mean, as growing older. Like, she was in her WWE phase when I was already out of that bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we were sure, watching yeah, that yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a full-time job when she Full, was, like, yeah, you know, watching yeah. Monday Night Raw, for sure. Yeah, so, she, so, I mean, so, like, I was already graduating when she was barely leaving elementary school. So, like, that's that's the kind of thing that, like, it's weird to me, you know? It's just different. But having a similar age group, like a twin, like, that's so cool. The one thing that I do notice, and but this is this isn't, like, a twin thing. I think it's just... It's cool because they're they're they were babies together, and when they were babies together, they didn't really like to hang out. Like they like needed their own space, and um, they wouldn't even really like bond. You know what I mean? How they say like this twin bonding? Like they mm-hmm. they're just like a baby, and there's another baby, right? But now now that like they are kind of like voicing with you know cries and laughs and smiles, um, I can kind of tell that they're super like they worry about each other like sophia will fall over and scarlet will be like oh, fuck. like just making sure that she's like not gonna cry and it's weird it's weird to me like it's pretty cool but um that has nothing to do with them being connected like that she felt the pain like that's yeah. stupid right. right you never know babies can't <laughs> no, tell you shit no. maybe it falls <laughs> off by it like at some point you know like if just like you I just th- never like it just goes away eventually and you just don't realize that i think the only thing that's different that, that, and that's I don't believe what the fuck you just said, so I'm just gonna step yeah, over it. I, I, <laughs> I feel like you're just trying to like you're just trying to fucking conspiracy make theory. it work. You never know conspiracy, right? I look, I don't think so. You never know. You never know, but from, she, from they my, could outgrow it. From my experience right now, <laughs> like I've seen like Sophia fall and cry, like where she kind of like will like knock her head like on the headboard or something. And Scarlett would, be like, and Scarlett what the would fuck? just look like what? <laughs> What's wrong with her? And not cry either. You know what I mean? I think if she was crying, she would cry. That that's just to put your conspiracy. No, it's because Scarlett is has a higher pain tolerance than Sophia does. <laughs> think about it. Scarlett like fucking knocks over everything. Yeah. So well, she's kind of clumsy. That's crazy. It's like like they're different people, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but it's they feel the like, same. <laughs> you're just trying to hammer that home they're the same they're not the same they're actually you like very very different and like Larry Larry and his twin are very different huh can you study the human brain so you, you don't know can I can I can I didn't go to school for it but can I yeah just I don't want to okay I don't want to go back to school for that but uh, yeah I just think it's it's cool to know um, about that Sunny, you wrote something about loving no, people I didn't. equally. No, I didn't write anything. Yeah, you did. It says Sunny. Well, it didn't say Sunny. It just had, oh. it was highlighted. <laughs> loving people equally. Tell me who you love more. Tell me who you love more. With who? Who do you love more? Your, cho- your children. My children. Do you love more? I don't. I love. Who do you love more? That's no. I love them the same. So you can love them equally. Yeah. Okay. So then, why can't I love two boyfriends equally? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> 
what? <laughs> Tell me why I can't. You can't choose. You don't have to choose one or the other. You can do them both. <laughs> that is fucking <laughs> crazy, dog. That's this is not. A, this is not real life. This is don't, not- <laughs> don't fucking know. You're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> this is, two boyfriends. Fuck, this two, is not real life. Is what I love two this boyfriends. is not real life. But I'm just saying, like, you can. Yeah. You can love two people equally. I don't think you can. Not, not I think equally. you can. I, if if, if I can love you and Eric equally, do you though? Yeah, I don't think you do. Do you though? Yeah. I love you equally. I think you guys. Yeah, I, I think would you love give us. you both a kidney, I, I, but I think, then I would die. I think everybody favors Eric though. <laughs> I think. Well, yeah, Eric's everybody favorite. favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I, Mom's favorite. Yeah. 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 Right. Your so dad's? fuck you, Eric. <laughs> I, know, I know the family. So. Right. So uh, I'm I, my I've dad's seen favorite. It. I've seen it. Yeah. I'm my dad's favorite. Sorry. Oh, it's I think it's been a while since I've been around. So, like, okay, <laughs> he maybe, brags maybe about me change. every day. Okay, so well, <laughs> I don't know. No, he doesn't. Bro, Can I hear? everyone will tell you he loves me more. Well, I think you're his only girl. So I, th- I think if he got another girl, it's a different kind of love. Then he traded over. It's no, a, yeah. it's a different kind of love to love your son than to love your daughter. That's, Depending that, on the parent. But that's exactly right. I think it's a different li- type of love to because love your, mom your loves siblings. you guys more. It's a different type of love to have like to your siblings than to have for a relationship. If I love all my like I, I can love two best friends equally. You can have two boyfriends. <laughs> yeah, you can have two boyfriends. Yeah. Uh, that's what she's trying to get at. Yeah, if, <laughs> if <laughs> she wants to have two look, boyfriends. Look, let me di- let me deep dive into no, this right. hypothetical. No, I wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, let me deep dive into but this I'm just hypothetical. Saying, like, like you can love two people equally. I don't know. I don't know if I don't I think maybe you're I mean nothing's impossible, but I think that's a that takes a lot of fucking work. Like having a relationship and keeping the relationship strong with one person and loving them and showing them love all the time is fucking hard. So like to throw another one in the mix and not and not have to worry like am I showing this one more attention? Am I showing that one more attention? Yeah. yeah that's that is a juggling thing that I don't even know how to juggle, bro. So I don't think <laughs> that, I don't it wouldn't work out for me, to be honest. I wouldn't be able to do it. I'm just trying to prove a point. <laughs> <laughs> well, the point was given. I don't think you proved anything, but <laughs> um, th- thinking about that, like the Mormon religion or like those type of people that have like multiple I would wives, never that. that that seems like super wild to me. Um, I don't know how the wives can like share one husband. I don't think that that's fucking. I mean, it works for them. It hasn't. Been working for them. I mean, yeah. I don't. I, I don't. I, I don't like buying into that that whole thing either. But yeah, um, they found a system that works for them. You know. But how? Yeah. Like, I feel like I'd be kind of mad. Like, or like you're favoring the other person more than me. Or mm-hmm. like, I don't know. I don't think it's about that. I think it's about roles at that point. Yeah, because oh. like the little that I've seen, like on like uh, reality TV or, or interviews with like people that that live that type of life, the the monogamous is it monogamous? Polyamorous? Uh, polyamory? Polyamory. Oh, um, polyamory, that's right. Um, it's roles. Like, they, they one, like, can clean the house. The other one, like, does the kid stuff. The other one plans, like, the lunch and the breakfast and the dinner. And, like, it's, what, it, that's really? how they, yeah, yeah. Um, now, looking in our type of, like, culture, I think it's weird to us. But I think in a in a comparison, let me compare something to you. Let me compare it for you. In like a third world country, technically they don't have like stuff we have. Like we don't they don't have cell phones. They don't have money to spend. They don't have nice car or whatever. They they live like a very very simple life. And we would think, damn, I would never want to live like that. But since they don't know how we live, and we don't know how they live, like they're just as happy if not some studies have shown that they're fucking happier than us so i mean we can't i guess because if you get tired of each other and be like okay go to the other one for a little bit there you go rolls roll yeah. stars That's a roll right there. you just cracked the code utah is a nice place to go if you want to try that out i want to try that mm. speaking of utah you and your two boyfriends can go to utah <laughs> <laughs> you and your two boyfriends. eric's going to utah Tomorrow. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. It's flying out. That's why we're That's recording why we're here early. On Friday. We're here on a Friday. This comes out on a Sunday, but we're here on a Friday. Eric is flying out. What's what's going on? What's going on in Utah? He's got well, my uh my mom has family out there and they're having like a big party and um 
they really wanted them to go out. They took off early, but Eric couldn't miss school and um, football, so he is flying out after his football game. I'm taking him to the airport. Dude, he's flying alone. Like, he is. I mean, he's a grown man now, you know? Yeah, well, he's 14. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I met the dude at, when, how old were you? Like, what, nine when I met you? Yeah, about. Oh, I think shit. so. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, about nine. Oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, actually, I remember when he, when he was born. Yeah, and he used to like a little baby being around. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not you know, not like to like no house parties or anything like that, but like you know. Yeah, we'd just take him to like the, <laughs> the pool party. <laughs> to pool He's doing cake stands and shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, Eric. Uh, Eric Louis was supposed to be taking care of you, but he was in the back drinking with his friends, and it was me taking care of you. And then he was taking care of both of you. Yeah, I played the fifth. I don't know what happened. <laughs> um. He tried to take care of you once, and he dropped you. I told you have a scar on your nose. Oh, we even talked about this already, dog. Don't bring <laughs> this up. Why are you bringing up old shit, bro? I fucking um. Do do you you? I asked you beforehand, but you said you don't remember who Kalija is, huh? No, I do not. No, no, no. Well, we went to the same high school together, and there was this big wooden statue in the middle of the school. Uh, Kalija. Oh, is that what the thing's called? Yeah, okay, that was okay. his name. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was his I name. I didn't know it had a name. A wooden statue? Yeah. Is yeah. it still there? Yeah, it's been there for years, bro. Like, it is like, that's like, well, you yeah, go it's there, been there and. Since you were there, that's been years. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, I'm talking about maybe even like the 50s, 40s. Like, he's been around for a yeah. long, long time. Yeah. There was even like scandals of like, opposite like high school stealing him and shit like that yeah like he's been through some stuff <laughs> he's seen it um but i was i was always i i always thought about this sandy didn't like that i talked about it but i'm gonna bring it up anyways but <laughs> in football like i played football my freshman and a little bit of my sophomore year but like i got hurt so i just focused on playing baseball but the football games like on friday like afternoon before you know kickoff and friday evening they would get us out of class. And You'd then, pray to it? <laughs> it almost felt that way, <laughs> right? They would have like the drums, like the drum corps playing the drums. Mm -hmm. And then they'd have us lined up, the football team. And you go and you touch Kalijah's right shoulder. Oh. And then like I guess it's like a, they say it's like a good luck. It's a tradition to get good luck from Kalijah so that he can watch over you or whatever. Did you I win? don't know what. No. He slid off was never Maybe very good. Maybe you should have touched the left shoulder. Yeah, we, I thought about it, but yeah, I always thought that was so f strange. And now uh, our high school like live streams it on Facebook. Really? When like the when the football players are doing that's that. That's crazy. That's it's, weird. And, and I get it. Every school has their tradition, and every school is like you know. My school didn't have a tradition. Dude, you went to like an you, early college. You, you had school like your high school wasn't a portable. <laughs> Well, I remember, I remember <laughs> dropping you off, and I'm like, "This is your high school. It's just like four portables." Hey, the, high, the college was more high, like we had more classes over there. That's why. Yeah, yeah. So there was no point in giving us a building. Did do you regret making that decision? No. No. Mm -mm. Okay. I always thought that because because you didn't get you didn't get to play like sports. You guys didn't that have like any extracurriculars. It's disappointing, but I did have extracurriculars. I just didn't do it, join, join anything. But like, I mean, it wasn't in comparison to like a high oh, school, well, yeah. right? Like we would play, you know, the big rival, right? And yeah, we would have to go to other schools. Yeah. Like you guys, I think I remember somebody saying that you guys had like a, like a little basketball league that like you guys would play or like flag football. Yeah, but it like was that. like, it was just like against... Mm -hmm. like another small school or something like that yeah. or like the other early college or something like that yeah. like it wasn't i never went to those games right. we had track and, co and cross country yeah that's it yeah see i just thought it was so like I, I remember telling you like dude you're gonna miss out like on things that maybe high school is like i know because the softball coach frank came talk to us at the middle school yeah and they're like like we want you guys and then you left to, to early college that's the only thing that was disappointing but i don't regret going to my school well, I mean, yeah. I mean, it, obviously, you still created memories and stuff. I'm not saying, like, your high school sucked. I just thought, like, man, maybe you thought, like, missed later on, you missed out on stuff. <clears throat> and I don't know if you ever, like, thought about, like, even, damn, like, I did Because even, like, my prom and, like, my homecoming sucked. Yeah, that's that's like, the other thing. Like, I didn't even yeah. like to. I didn't even want to go. Yeah. Did you? Not my junior year. I went my senior year. You went your senior year? Did you go to prom? I did. I did, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Prom night. Yeah. No. 
I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I don't see the hype. Like, I don't see, like, why that's, like, a big high school thing to do. I think it's kind of, again, I think it's kind of like a tradition, too. Like, hey. And it's also where your friends are going to be. Yeah, for sure. Mm, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I mean, like. I mean, just because kind of one of those things are, like. Everybody Everybody goes, you. yeah, so. Yeah. So you're like, well, I don't want to miss out on this. You mm-hmm. know, I'm only yeah. going to get the one. Yeah. Yeah. I left prom early. As did I. Party it up, baby. Stupid. <laughs> we were like, "Hey, let's let's blow this popsicle yeah, everyone stand." Everyone went to my house afterwards. Oh yeah, I don't know where we ended up. My yeah, house honestly. was the party house. I don't <laughs> remember where we ended up, baby. <laughs> I don't. Dude, I really don't. Yeah, we had a lot of good times, bro. It was fun, but but that's what I was asking. Like, did you create memories like that in the little four portable high school that you had? That's what <laughs> I was trying to figure out. With your graduating class of twenty six, it's like twenty. It was like oh, we had a hundred people in my class. You had a hundred people. Exactly a hundred. Everybody was top ten percent. We were the only. <laughs> top 10%. We were the only top ten percent was literally the top ten people because you only had a hundred <laughs> <Yeah>. students. <laughs> You're like top ten percent. Oh wait, were you top ten or top ten percent? Both. I was both. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy to me. I I, I remember. Th- I like we still I, had like our house parties and we still had like like places to go and people like other people from other schools would invite us to their house parties and I would have house parties at my house. We still I want to say we still had like some high school experiences, not as like badass as the rest of them, but we had people. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like you're trying to sell me. I'm trying. You're trying to sell <laughs> Eric, me on this yeah, early college. Eric wants thing. to go, so I'm trying. I, I don't no. know. <laughs> no, <laughs> Eric doesn't want. To yeah, go Eric wants to continue with sports and shit. So like, he's gonna go to a high yeah. school. Yeah, bro. But also, like yeah. now, yeah. you don't have to go to my school to get an associate's. You can get it from his high yeah. school too. I know you that. Can just yeah. take the classes now. Yeah. So he doesn't have to worry about it. Oh well, well, then you can do both. You can double dip, as they say. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna bring up a little bit of politics, bro. I just it's not really politics, but I just want to get you guys' opinion on this. Like uh Kamala Harris, she's like getting in trouble because she changes her accent depending on where she's Oh yeah, I saw depending that. Depending on where she's <laughs> giving her speech. I saw that on TikTok. What do you what do you guys think of that? Like, is that a big deal? I don't think it's a big deal. I mean, I, I've noticed. I think she's full of shit. I, I either way. Yeah. <laughs> whether, she, whether she's an accent or not, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's kind of it's a little it's a, em- embarrassing. Yeah, right? it I'm is. not sure she looks back on would look back on that and be like, "Damn, no, I, didn't like, I, I really did that," you know? Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, to like buy your audience like that is it's kind of shitty, especially when people see like right through it. Yeah, yeah. I I think that's what literally that's what kind of makes me think what she's doing is she's trying to buy her audience. She's trying to like um, appeal to everybody, and it kind of comes off as like a little like like almost borderline racist. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, but I can't say too much because if you really think about it, if you really think about it, like w- I don't know if I can't speak for you guys, but I I, I kind of do that. Like if I'm talking to you. It is not going to be the same as when I'm hanging around with people that speak mostly Spanish. Like I, I, I put on like a sombrero and, and a fucking <laughs> and, and a mariachi outfit, and I fucking like I do a little. That's the way, yeah, the way I talk that's changes. Just yeah. assume that like that all yeah. that, like Hispanic people are like that, but you know, yeah. I, I see where you're going with. But it. that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like Sonny's Hispanic, but we're not like we don't have the Hispanic vibe. Right. But if but if I go and I hang out with like some of the guys at work, which like they have the more Hispanic vibe then yeah, like I'm out, I'm even listening to different music and like vibing differently and actually speaking a lot more Spanish and, and throwing in like, you know, that type of like culture. Whereas in a normal sense, I don't think I would talk like that. Like I won't, I don't act like that with you. Right. right? But I act like that with like people that speak more Spanish. And then I think you're just trying to appeal with the people that you're with. You know what I mean? I think I even said it the other time, like whenever I talk to like the, the people that supply us our granite, they, they're like from the South. And I feel like I even talk like white when I'm talking to them. Like, and then I'm not trying to do it on purpose. It just mm-hmm. kind of happens. So I, oh, I remember that, 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 that old truck driver. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, Dude, we, those truck drivers, truck drivers that I, I think all truck drivers, maybe not all, but a lot of them, you have to be kind of a little, 
wild, like crazy yeah, in the head. Yeah, for sure. Because you're by yourself for like hours and yeah. hours, dude. It's boring. Even me driving to Austin, like for those ten, like seven hours, it's boring. Seven hours? Isn't Austin like longer than that? Isn't not, Austin like not for her? <laughs> it's like eight. Jesus. I don't know. It's. It's like eight or nine. No, it's seven and a half. Okay, now it's seven and a half. You peeing in, you peeing in a cup or something, shit, bro? <laughs> no, it's seven and a half. Yeah, because it's technically like it says eight and a half on the maps, but you lose an hour over there, so it's seven and a half. Because coming back, it's seven and a half hours. Seven and a half hours. Look it up, Eric. Look that up. What's how far is the drive from El Paso to Austin? Well, here, let me let me put it where I go. How, how far is it eight from El Paso to Georgetown? Look, eight hours and 20 minutes. But yeah, you, you lose an hour, so it's seven hours and 20 minutes. That's, no, that's not how that works. Yes, because from there to here, it's seven and a half hours. It isn't. That that literally from, tells you your, your duration. No. It doesn't tell you how much time you're gaining and losing. Uh, look, because I'll get there at 444, but it's technically 344 here. That that yeah. won't change the duration of time, Yes, though. it is, because watch. If I do it the other way around, it's seven and a half hours. Okay, do it from Georgetown. Why would to you El say Paso. it? What's wrong with Georgetown? Because now everyone's gonna know I go there. You don't go there. Al- oh my god, no, bro! Man. Jeez, a whole town. Hey, <laughs> Georgetown is off limits for everybody else <laughs> except Sunny, I guess. Apparently. Wait, how do I switch it over there? Georgetown is a pretty big town. Yeah. No, the, I swear to dogs. God, it's seven and a half hours when I go over. Th- when okay. I'm over there. Nah. I swear to God. So I'll, it says look, eight. Uh, look, eight no, twenty. No, I'm gonna ask. It says eight twenty. Are you just, are you going to call her? You're like, hey, you're on the podcast right now. You're trying to settle something. Dude, it's not going to change. You're going to catch in your lies, Sonny. So I'm going to try to explain to people that are like listening at home and pay, and not on the, well, honestly, I have to explain it to everybody, honestly, because he, she's just showing me your screen. But it says that it's going to take her eight hours and 19 minutes from El Paso to minutes. Austin. Eight hours and twenty minutes. Sorry, it's your duration, though. That's your duration. At the time you arrive, uh, the time. But I, but I promise you, when I'm googling and when I'm mapping to come home, it says seven and a half hours. And I even told Manda, I was like, "Look, that's fucking weird," because it says eight and a half when I get there, but it's seven and a half when I come back. Okay, well, may, but here, it's not calculating the time. Here's something. Here's something that maybe didn't cross your mind. <clears throat> Traffic time going change. to El Paso. Time change is different. Time change. Than oh. Time change. Coming to time change. Dude. Honestly, I will send you a screenshot. I'm going at the end of the month. This. I'm going at the end of the month. I kind of want to clip this so that you can see how Fuck stupid you're sounding right now. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, this is her girl math episode this is, again. This is girl Bro, math. I'm this going to fucking send you a fucking again. screenshot. You lose an hour when you get there and you lose and you gain an hour when you come back. I I'm going to send you a fucking screenshot. Oh my God. I'm going to hey. fucking dude, tell you. Dude, hold on. It doesn't make you time travel though, bro. You still have the same amount of miles to drive. Shut up. It, it's like it's like saying you're going 100 miles an hour coming back. If you're going 100 miles an hour going forward, it's the same amount of time that you're on the road. I promise you, when I'm over there, it says uh, it takes me seven and a half. What did hours your phone say right to now? To get over here, to get over here, when I'm over there, when yeah. I'm in, physically in Georgetown, and uh-huh. I map to come back over here, it says seven and a half hours. But did it to go over there? <laughs> it says eight and a half hours. I don't know why my phone's probably all fucked up. But every time I go <laughs> over there, and I so Google right now to come that you back, looked it up, it said eight twenty. And I Google to come back, it says seven and a half hours Hold because on. my my clock is not changed. Dude, the time. Does doesn't matter of the duration, it, it though. It said right now, if it says eight twenty-seven, it's gonna take me seven let, and a half hours me, to come back. Let me give you. A, let me give you an example. No, fucking next Hold topic. on. Let me give you an example. <laughs> next topic. <laughs> fucking tired Maybe of you. if I make it a shorter distance. If we go from here to Van Horn, that's when the time changes in Van Horn. Okay. A little bit. So after. yeah. So if we go to here to Van Horn, it's it's a what almost two hours, an hour fifty, right? Let's just say for the sake of this argument, it's an hour fifty. From here to Van Horn. When we get to Van Horn, let's say, hold on, hold say on. Let's say it's differently. Let's say it's eight o'clock here. We get to Van Horn. We're not Horn, clipping this. It goes to nine o'clock. We're not right? clipping this. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Next so, topic. So the <laughs> so so literally, I was only Bro, on the I was only on the facts? road for fifty minutes. Yeah. I'm telling you facts. Yeah. It's according yeah. to her. I'm thing. telling you facts. <laughs> of my phone <laughs> I don't Dude. know math Like that Okay But I'm trying to tell you That you're wrong I bro. know I'm right So just 
Shut oh, the fuck up. I'm gonna have a stroke, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, fucking Amanda's not answering, answering bro. Crazy. Amanda's not answering. Oh my she, god. What, well, yeah. Well, yeah, she's like, no, I don't want to be stupid. I don't with you. With you. No, it's <laughs> I can't call her. She's with her friends. <laughs> I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy Amanda a shirt that says I'm with stupid. And just <laughs> point stupid. whenever you go. <laughs> When you go to the other town, whatever that's not named. When I go again in three weeks, I'm going to send you a screenshot. The town that shall not be named. When I go again in three weeks, I'm going to send you a screenshot. I'm going to send it to you. Go to Pflugerville. I'm going to send it. <sighs> we know that the time changes over I'm going to send the screenshot. That it says seven and a half. I'm going to send Eric, you. Eric, do you understand what we're trying to explain <laughs> to her? He wasn't paying attention. He was on his phone. <laughs> no? She's saying that it's it takes longer to get to... to Austin. No, then, it's just because the time changes and it t- it does the time change on my phone. I know. Okay. So so you're saying it's going to take you 8 hours to get over there but 7 hours to get back? No. Now, no. now you're changing it. Now Louis, you're changing it. I'm saying that it's because of the time change that the hour is different. Okay. Fuck you, bitch. No, I get it now. I get nah, it now. fuck you, bitch. Now you just made me look stupid when I was trying to say exactly that. I don't think so. But I think we're having a good time here. Shut the fuck What's up. What's in your cup? Hey, we never mentioned we got these cups at Dollar General. That's We've had these cups for like did. the last like three episodes. And I was going to say, is there a guest one? But then you have to like, let everybody else drink out of that one. So <laughs> Yeah. Well, we, we wash them. We, we wash them. But I'm like, uh, you know, what if the other guy doesn't have a, other person doesn't have a drink? Like, yeah. Yeah. This mug. This, this I got this mug right here. That's your mug. <laughs> mm-hmm. When Eric, when Eric, when Larry stopped working with us, he left this mug there, and and he had asked me for it about a year ago, and I still hadn't given it to him. Yeah, he no, he, no, he had it. me wash it because he he didn't wash it. Well, it was a little dusty. I didn't want to give it to you. I dusty. bet it was dusty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I bet my my old desk is still collecting dust too. Oh, oh man. man! Oh, here <laughs> it is! So here hard. it is, baby! Hey, come on, man! Hey, come on, brother! You're always somewhat on a monument company in my heart, Thank dog. You, brother. You're always that. there, baby. I appreciate that. How, how's how's work going? You like you like it there? You like at the funeral? I home? like it a lot, man. Yeah, it's yeah. really really good. Um, um, so what my job is? I'm actually um, so I'm not a funeral director. Right. I'm not in bomber. So when I tell people like. I work in the funeral home. They're like, oh, so you get to dress bodies? I'm like, no, I don't. Right. You know? Right. Every now and then, like, they'll ask them, hey, can you come fix this person's tie? Can you come right. help us, you know, lift or whatever? You mm-hmm. know, just like little things like that with all respects, of course. Yeah, of but, course. Um, you know, it's little things like that. But, you know, I do stationery. I do, uh, like, custom work for people. So, yeah. Um, you know, make books, prayer cards, and, you know, like, the nice little things like that. So, yeah. I went from, you know, making headstones in a in a hot metal box. Yeah. So I'm now I'm inside of a of an office with a computer and I wear a suit every day to work. So Yeah. So that's pretty nice, man. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. And and do you plan on like pursuing like eventually maybe becoming a director or an embalmer? Or? I want to, yeah, yeah. I do want to. Yeah, uh, yeah. the place that I'm working does offer that. Uh-huh. Um they actually will help you like uh put you in school and and you know just like all that. But uh, what's cool about that is they kind of have you a contract. So what they do is um you have to work for the company for two years. Yeah. Uh, after you get that license. I've heard that. I've heard that. But which is not a problem at all because it's, it's kind of guaranteed work. Which is yeah. Kind of, which is kind of a yeah, because they just hire you It's not you're working. Back. It's yeah. not like you're doing like an internship or something. Well, it's, right. a, it's like, in, it's, in a sense, it's like a paid internship. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Because right. so. yeah, you're that's still cool. learning. Yeah, that's cool. That's awesome, man. Like, yeah, so I'd like to do that at some point. Yeah, because for the longest time, I remember even like since like after high school, you were like, I wanted to do that. So I'm, like, I'm glad. Because your mom did it, right? Yeah, my mom did it. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, my mom. Uh, she did work uh, for a funeral home for like, eleven years. Yeah, she mm, was there for cool. a while. Mm-hmm. She was there for a while. That's awesome. That's good to hear, bro. I um, we're coming closer towards the end here, but because you wanted to make fun of me for ten minutes, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I was just letting you go. I was just honestly, I was like just listening. That was good though, dude. Was good. The the hamster in I wasn't your brain. Being stupid, you just didn't understand. I literally said because of the time change. It says eight the and a half hours wheel. over here. It's, it's if running. you gain an it's hour, running. so it's seven and a half hours. All right. You know what's funny? Um, so with my previous, well, my current band, No uh-huh. Suffer, uh, X Tramp Over Shipwreck. Yeah, we toured the country uh-huh. like a lot. Right. Like at one point, it was like eight months out of the year that we were on tour. Oh okay. shit. Um, and we dealt a lot of like time changes <laughs> and time zones, things yeah. like that. So. 
I just wanted to let you go. Like I really wanted to, like I really wanted to point <laughs> what out. Here? You know what? Really Dude, I see. But let, the time change, like the to get used to like that sleeping schedule and then come back and get to, used to another it's sleeping schedule. It's not jet lag, sonny. It's <laughs> no, but it, it sucks. Because when I come back, I no driving is exhausting for sure. Driving week. is yeah. exhausting. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think yeah. When you come back. Obviously, you've been sleeping like a hour later. Like this, well, that's to say, like if you're sleeping at the same time that you were sleeping here, I uh, guess that could be like mess with your schedule a little bit. Yeah, I, I get what you're trying to say there, but just there. Yeah, grow up. Also, you're not like you know, partying as much here as you are over there. Yeah, so. that's true. Yeah. As I do a I lot more things you. over there than over mm-hmm. here. Like she Ubers. Is, mm-hmm. She do be. Shut up. I can she gets I Uber. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. That, wait. It's not her, bro. Honestly, keep her out of it, dog. Should we just let in your... Hold on, you know, finish yeah, that go text. Ahead. Yeah, go ahead. That's fine. Fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love you. She's a fucking bitch. <laughs> so, um, Hurry up, before, we, before we get off here, uh, Larry, is there any big things coming up for your bands? Anything uh, that you want to talk about that you want to mention? Um, so not currently, not really. So, yeah. uh, No Suffer just put out a couple of tracks, okay. uh, put out Introspect and Penumbra. You guys can check them out on, on iTunes, Spotify and all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, Predecessor, we just put, uh, our EP out not too long ago. Uh, but we're, I'm, we're writing in both bands. We were, we're writing, we're working some things out. Um, That's cool. No Suffer does have a show coming up at the end of the month, uh, September 20th. Um, yeah, we're playing with the band called Oceano. We did a tour with them oh, cool. uh, not too long ago. Uh, so that's like probably the only thing that we have coming up. Uh, one of one of uh, my band members is uh, is getting married here soon, so he's going to yeah. have to take cool. a little bit of time off. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Shout out! Yeah, Shout yeah. Out. yeah, we're going to have guys. him on there too eventually. I don't want to say his name, but yeah, we're going to have him eventually too. So that's <laughs> awesome, bro. I mean, to, to hear that you're doing all of this stuff, I remember like going to the shows. As a matter of fact, Sonny, did you know this? Sonny, <laughs> let it go, dog. I, I I sold merch for No Suffer for you a, did. a couple yeah. shows. You did. There yeah. was one time mm-hmm. where he was supposed to be doing it. He walked away, and I had to do it. Yeah. Oh, really? We yeah. sold merch. I remember it was for, what, an album release for what this album, album actually. It's called The Great Dying. Yeah, that's because uh, I no had. No Suffer. Yeah. yeah. Um, Louis did do merch on that one, and we crushed it that night. Dude's Dude. a salesman. I was Dude slanging. Dude crushed it. On you, want that. A you want a shirt? You want a shirt? You want a shirt? Mm-hmm. You I want was collecting the money. Do you want a little vinyl tape? Right here? I was collecting the money. Yeah, but and oh. he disappeared for like thirty minutes, and you I know, got scared. We, we got all that money back, so <laughs> it's <laughs> not a problem. You know? so like it's we good. Made, we made those sales, so it's all right. That's good, bro. But yeah, I'm glad to hear that your bands are doing good. Um, so where can they find your bands on Instagram? Uh, so no suffer is going to be just at no suffer on Instagram, mm-hmm. uh, and predecessor is uh, at predecessor hc. At predecessor HC. Yeah. So you can find those. Um, oh, cool. And no suffer is K N O W suffer. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. in case, because people put in N O. <laughs> no. Yeah, you know, I just, I've you know I've been doing it for like seven years. So I just yeah. assume that you know people, people know. People yeah, know people that know already. I mean, yeah, no suffer is one of the bigger bands like in that scene for sure. I always like seeing you guys like out there. Like every time I see somebody post a flyer, it's like no suffer is there. I'm like, yeah. oh yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, man, it's been really good, man. I'm super grateful for it. It's good to be like still be playing like music, like. Yeah, you know, like this. It's a good outlet. This far in life, you know, yeah. still doing it, but it's good, man. It's 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 nice to have that on top of like work and all kinds of, and all kinds of like normal life things that you yeah. have going on. Like yeah. it's good to come back and like you know play music and mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I lo- I love having like a good little outlet of some sort mm-hmm. to like you know. Right now, like I feel like the podcast eventually, hopefully, we can monetize soon. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like and subscribe, but. <laughs> yeah. right now it's like a good outlet for us like we're like hey we'll, we'll talk about that on the podcast hey like you know we come up with new ideas and we you know so there's I, like I, conversations that we'll stop and like just write it down podcast. <laughs> write it down oh that's cool that's yeah cool. so but yeah um, so that that that's kind of where we want to come to a close here don't uh, clip us <laughs> <laughs> like like us on Instagram oh, no follow us on Instagram we have a Facebook now because we had to make like a meta in order to make it like a professional account i don't know i don't know how it works but i had to do it so like <laughs> us on facebook we're also on facebook now uh youtube spotify and apple, apple. podcast there you go mm-hmm. go ahead and show support guys we really appreciate it and go uh show larry's band bands 
support. Yeah, we, we got on everything. Uh, we have full distribution on, on all sites. Oh, yeah. So you can't say, like, oh, where can I find it? It's actually on everything. It's on Just everything. Just look it up, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I keep that <laughs> shit on my, you know? on my Apple Music. Every once in a while, I'll play, I'll play a song or two. Listen, mm-hmm. I'll jam Just one or two. Well, I, well, no. <laughs> I'm not saying it's because the thing is, like with hardcore. Look at him making excuses. No, no. This is this is my honest truth, bro. Like with <laughs> hardcore, I feel like if I, I, I it's something that I can't listen to all day. It's not something I can listen to. I can listen to like uh, like a good 20, 30 minutes of hardcore, and then I'm like, okay, yeah, another music. Genre. Your music is all over the place, bro. Yeah, my shit. Mm-hmm. We'll remember, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would be. On, I would have like the my phone on the on the Bluetooth speaker, and then he'd just be like, I'd go from like fucking heavy metal you see him to, put his airpods on yeah you go from like heavy metal to like fucking show tunes and you're just like what the fuck like with mm-hmm. playing Glee. hamilton <laughs> yeah hamilton, yeah shit like, outcast a tiny tim yeah how Outca- can outcast the tiny tim there you yeah. go we're there still you like go. that yeah i remember that yeah, man so but yeah all right guys well thank you for tuning in um check out larry's bands check out um check out larry larry's also on instagram yeah i am cxm larry all right we'll see you on the next one Right, See you on me. the flippity flip. M C X M Larry. All right. We'll see you on the next one. Right, See you on me. the flippity flip. I said flippity flip. What the fuck was that? <laughs>